Some say St. Francis of Assisi was born in 1181. Others say he was born in 1182 AD. He was born in Assisi, Italy. He was born the son of a wealthy cloth merchant. His mother had him baptized in his father's absence. He lived a good and wealthy life. He even helped his father with the business. He was blinded by the dream to be successful. He dreamed of knighthood and nobility. Determined for success, St. Francis participated in a war between Assisi and France. Instead of achieving victory, he was taken prisoner in 1202. He fell very ill. When he recovered, he decided to make his journey home. On his return, he received a vision. He was told, Go and repair my house, which is falling. This vision changed his lifestyle for the better. When he returned, he sold some of his father's materials to pay for materials needed to repair the church. His father was outraged and publicly accused him. He then disinherited and disowned Francis. It is said that Francis took off his clothes and gave it to his father and walked away naked. He then announced that he was married to poverty. San Francis was alone, but he had God on his side to help him. He began to beg for money in hopes to rebuild the church. He also helped and cared for lepers. He was not afraid. He kissed them and helped them wash their sores. He then devoted himself to a life of poverty and care for the sick and poor. Francis believed everything on earth was a part of the Lord. He loved everything. This is why he is often depicted with animals. In particular, he is often with a wolf. It is a legend that there was a wolf terrorizing the people of Gubeo. It was said that he was a man-eating monster. However, St. Francis did not want him to be killed. Instead, Francis made a deal in which the people of Gubeo had to feed the wolf. If they did so, the wolf would not eat the humans. St. Francis gained more and more followers. One was a canon of the cathedral, whom he was robed in thus finding the Franciscans. Francis was granted approval to rule. He sent missionaries to Tunis and Morocco. He himself also tried to spread the Lord's word. He went to Egypt to evangelize the Mohammedans, but the Sultan turned down his attempt. On Mount Alvernia in 1224, St. Francis of Assisi received the stigmato, the sounds of the Christ, in his body. His last two years of existence, Francis was very ill and died at Partunica on October 3rd. St. Francis reflected the church in many ways. The church teaches us to be loving and kind. St. Francis lived this teaching. He loved all things, such as animals. He also loved everything that God made. He also tried to share his message by word and actions, and as a result, he was inspired many to be more kind and loving. As a disciple of Christ, we are called not to judge. St. Francis is a perfect example of not judging. At the time he lived, Lovers were an outcast. People thought the disease was contagious and thought the sight of a leper was hideous. St. Francis thought differently. He sought beauty in every single thing that God created. He did not judge, but instead loved the lepers. He fed them and cared for them. He was unafraid to touch and help those. He was very compassionate. He is a perfect model of someone who helps those in need which is another lesson that the church teaches us to do. As disciples of Christ, we should not care about material things. Instead, we should focus on helping others in this world. Sometimes it is hard for us to live without luxury, and it would be hard thinking about giving it all up. However, St. Francis of Assisi did just that. He lived in luxury for so long. He was born into a wealthy family. However, he was able to give every luxurious item he had to his father. He then lived without any extravagance. And instead of losing faith because he had nothing, he gave faith to others. 
and he also lived in poverty happily. He cared for others and made a difference in the community. He shows people what it means to live a Christian life. St. Francis has inspired me to take more steps in loving all things around to me. I need to be more grateful to what the Lord has made. I have always loved animals, and St. Francis, being the patron saint of animals and ecologists, inspires me to volunteer at an animal rescue center. I have always loved animals, and I want to love the animals that do not have love. I want to be less dependent on material things as well. St. Francis gave up his luxurious items and helped others. I want to love and be kind as he was. St. Francis called on us to praise the Lord. When you love what the Lord has made, you are praising the Lord. This is why I would like to do some volunteering and show my love for what God has made. St. Francis of Assisi is a man of creativity, leadership, and service. He reflects these characteristics in several ways. He uses his talent of connecting with what God has made and develops them into making a positive difference in the world. He does this by making animals and people feel loved. He values them as God's creation. He also responds to others' needs. He helps those that are suffering and feeds and cares for them. He also loved them. He made them feel equal, whereas society made the people suffering feel less than. He developed his ideas when he founded the Franciscans. They traveled praising the Lord and spreading their faith through positive actions. The Dictionary of Saints states, Probably no saint has affected so many in so many different ways as St. Francis of Assisi who was born to health, devoted his life to poverty, concern for the poor, and sick, and so delighted in God's works revealed in nature. I believe St. Francis truly reflects Cronolette's learning expectations. <laughs>